Have you ever wondered why Dachshunds love to dig so much? Interested to know how one Dachshund saved John Wayne's family from a deadly fire? Well, stick around. In today's episode, we're counting down the 10 most interesting Dachshund facts you didn't know. And that all starts right here on The Smart Canine, the only show that explores the most interesting facts and stories behind dogs. But before we get started into the incredible Dachshund, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you want more Dachshund videos, smash that thumbs up button. Number 10. Hot dogs were named after the Dachshund. You may be thinking, shouldn't it be the other way around? After all, we do call Dachshunds hot dogs because of their sausage-like bodies. But according to hot dog history, the popular sausages weren't always called the hot dog. In fact, most historians believe that they were created by a German man in the 1600s and first introduced as the Dachshund sausage. This was likely because Dachshunds were popular canine companions among the German butchers who made these sausages. However, the name of the Dachshund sausage was simplified to just hot dog at some point in time. And although we're not sure when the name was actually changed, the earliest written record of the phrase hot dog can be traced back to an issue of Yale record in 1895. Even so, isn't it ironic that we've come full circle and now the nickname of Dachshund has become the hot dog? Number 9. Dachshunds were featured in World War I and World War II propaganda. No one knows for sure why Dachshunds were chosen as the breed for the anti-German propaganda campaigns during the World Wars. I mean, there's so many German dog breeds to choose from, including the German Shepherd, but it's likely because these dogs looked so silly that it was easy to poke fun at them. And while it may be cool seeing Dachshunds on old propaganda posters today, this wasn't the case for them back then. In fact, the propaganda was so effective that the breed declined rapidly during wartime. These dogs became the symbol for all things German. What's worse, Dachshunds were often kicked or stoned in the streets of England, and no owner would dare bring them out for a walk in the street. But the story has a happy ending. After the war, people quickly began to realize just how amazing these dogs were. And in 2020, the sentiment of the Dachshund has never been better, as these dogs managed to crack the top 10 list of the most popular breeds in America. Number 8. Nazi scientists claimed they taught a Dachshund to speak. Germans once believed dogs were nearly as intelligent as humans, and we don't really blame them. I mean, dogs are pretty smart. However, according to historians, Nazi scientists once claimed they taught a Dachshund named Kerwinol how to speak. But they didn't actually mean the dog could speak German or English words. Rather, a specific number of barks would mean a specific letter of the alphabet. Think of it as a dog version of Morse code. This Dachshund even had a personal biographer detailing every moment of the dog's life and translating every bark the dog made. According to the biography, Kerbinal loved zoology books, pretty women, and pink roses. And before the Dachshund passed away, he poetically barked, I am not afraid of dying. Dogs have souls, and they are like the souls of men. Number 7. Dachshunds love to dig because of their badger hunting instincts. These dogs may have a sweet and playful nature when they're peacefully resting on your lap, but that's because you're probably not a badger. After all, these dogs were historically bred to track and take down badgers from their underground burrows. That said, they used to be a lot more aggressive and courageous when compared to modern-day Dachshunds. But because these dogs had to literally pull out badgers from their burrows, they oftentimes had to dig themselves through the small underground tunnels. So next time your Dachshund digs up a mess in your backyard, don't blame them. It's just their old hunting instincts kicking in. Number 6. The first Olympic mascot was a Dachshund. Olympic mascots didn't always used to be a thing. However, in 1972, at Munich Summer Olympics, the first ever official mascot was introduced. And of course, there is no better animal to represent the German city than the Dachshund. The mascot dog was named Waldi and the Olympic host city chose the Dachshund because the breed was known for its resistance, tenacity and agility, all of which are essential traits for any successful Olympic athlete. Number 5. The Dachshund is the only non-terrier earth dog. Like we already mentioned, Dachshunds love to dig because it's all part of their hunting instincts. And according to the American Kennel Club, these are exactly what Earth Dogs are. This special group of breeds include all Terrier-type dog breeds. However, Dachshunds are the only Earth Dogs that aren't part of the Terrier group. So next time your Dachshund emerges from a hole with a mouse in his mouth, don't get mad. It's just your Earth Dog doing Earth Dog things. Number 4. 
Dachshunds had the weirdest nicknames. Yes, these dogs are famously known as hot dogs or wiener dogs. However, there's been many more names of the Dachshund. At one point, Dachshunds were oddly called Beagle Terriers. Of course, they're neither related to the Beagle nor a Terrier dog, so historians still aren't sure why this name briefly caught on. Early on, they were also called German Badger Hounds because, well, they come from Germany and they hunt badgers. In fact, they were first introduced into the Kennel Club by that name. And for reasons we still don't understand, that generic name stuck around for quite some time. Number 3. A Dachshund named Brutus was a skydiver. If we know one thing for certain, it's that this Dachshund isn't afraid of heights. For several years, Ron Cyril and his Dachshund named Brutus were frequently featured in air shows as parachute jumpers. The two would share a parachute and safely descend to Earth as spectators gazed with awe. But don't worry. Ron had made a special harness to attach Brutus to his chest during the whole descent. Brutus even had custom goggles to keep his eyes from tearing up during the freefall. All in all, Brutus had lodged over 100 jumps. He even held the canine skydiving altitude record for clocking a jump from 15,000 feet. And according to Ron, his dachshund actually gets excited as he's preparing the gear for the jump. But even so, that hasn't stopped animal rights advocates from petitioning against Brutus participating in such a dangerous activity. Number 2. Odie from the Garfield comics is most likely a Dachshund. Did you know that Snoopy from Peanuts was a beagle? Or that Clifford, the big red dog, was a giant Vizsla? Plenty of notable dog breeds have been featured for several cartoons and comic books for children, including Odie from the Garfield comics. And while there's no confirmation that Odie is in fact a Dachshund, plenty of people have speculated that he is. To be specific, Garfield enthusiasts believe that Odie is a wire-haired Dachshund, with the possibility of having some type of terrier mix in. However, others have claimed that Odie may actually be a beagle, due to the similar physical traits and personality portrayed in the comics. In the live-action Garfield movie, Odie was played by an actual Dachshund, which only builds the case for Odie being a Dachshund. Number 1. A loyal Dachshund saved John Wayne's family. Just because Dachshunds are small doesn't mean they're not capable of protecting their family. Canine heroes come in all shapes, sizes and breeds. Blackie, the Dachshund, is proof of this. In fact, he was the pet of legendary actor John Wayne, and in the early morning of January in 1958, Blackie saved John Wayne's family from a potentially fatal tragedy. During this incident, John Wayne was still in Japan filming The Barbarian and the Geisha, so he wasn't home. However, a fire in the Wayne house had broken out and quickly worsened. Fortunately, Blackie woke up first and started barking like a mad dog. It was an unusual thing for the dog to do, let alone at 3am. Mrs. Wayne quickly woke up and to her surprise, the house was completely covered in smoke. She mentioned that she could see the fire at the edge of her carpet. Along with Blackie, she grabbed her newborn daughter and ran out of the house without a second of hesitation. The good news was that Mrs. Wayne only suffered a mild burn while the baby was completely unharmed. House fires don't discriminate between the famous and the common, or the rich and the poor. But in this case, they were lucky to have their dachshund named Blackie. Oh, and don't think Blackie's actions went unnoticed. John Wayne personally gave Blackie a Medal of Honor, along with plenty of scratches and treats for his heroic actions. So, what was your favorite dachshund fact? Were there any interesting facts that were missed? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the Smart Canine for the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs.